Mom! Oh, hey. What's up, baby? You were supposed to be ready. Today's my high school graduation. We have to be there in 10 minutes. We have to hurry. Oh, shoot. You said you wouldn't drink today, but it doesn't matter. We can still make it. We just have to find my gown. Here it is. Mom, you found it. We can still make it. <coughs> no! <coughs> Mom, what have you done? Brooke, I am so excited. Finally, we get to graduate high school. Four years of work is finally paying off. And you're forgetting the craziest part. And that's like your hour valedictorian. Your mom is probably really proud of you. Well, I don't know about that. But I made sure everything was perfect for today. <laughs> perfect smile? Check. Phone charge? Check. Best friend on the phone? Check. Cap? Check. Gown? Carly, what's wrong? You forgot to say check. Brooke, it's not here. I made sure it was perfectly folded last night, right here, and it's gone. Calm down, Carly. I'm sure it's somewhere in your room. Just keep looking. <sighs> I can't breathe. I'm gonna have I'm gonna hear a panic attack. It's not here. Carly, I need you to relax. Take deep breaths. What about your mom? You say she always takes stuff from your room. Maybe she knows where it is. My mom? Yeah, maybe, maybe she put it in a, a safe spot. Yeah, she probably has it. I have to go, Carly. My parents are here. See you at the graduation. Bye. Love you. Bye. I love you, too. Mom, have you seen my gown? Mom! Oh, hey. What's up, baby? What's up? You were supposed to be ready. Today's my high school graduation. We have to be there in 10 minutes. We have to hurry. Oh, shoot. I didn't know that was today. Yes, you did. You said you wouldn't drink today, but it doesn't matter. We can still make it. We just have to find my gown. Here it is. Mom, you found it. We can still make it. <coughs> no! <coughs> Mom, what have you done? Don't worry, honey. We can go to the next one. Mom, what are you talking about? There isn't going to be a next one. You only have one graduation in your life. Well, then I guess we could just have our own little graduation party here. After all these years of taking care of you, I've only asked for one day. And you couldn't even do that for me. Oh, quit being so dramatic. It's just a high school graduation. No one gives a crap about high school anyway. And wh what do you care if I'm there or not? I'm your daughter, doesn't that matter? Just, just shut up already. Just shut up, okay? I've done everything I've had to do to raise you. I've done everything I've had to do as a mother. It's time for you to grow up and deal with your own problems, okay? I'm done. If you don't quit, you're gonna lose me. Say it. Say that you'll quit or you're never gonna see me again. Then go. Go! Get out! I won't stop you. Go! Go! You're an angel, Sid. Thanks for bringing this for me. Yep. Can I come in? Yeah, come on in. Come on. Good lord, Nance. When's the last time you cleaned this place? You know what? We're just not going to talk about it. You got the right chicken this time. So, Carly showed up at my house crying last night. 
Listen, that little girl needs to stop blaming everybody else for why her life just sucks. What, like you did with mom? No, Sid, that's way different. Nance, you've always blamed mom for screwing up your life because of how much she drank. Now look at you, you turn out the exact same way. <laughs> I am a way better mom than mom ever was. And you know that, I'm a way better mom. Are you? Are you, Nance? Because every time you get something good in your life, you throw it away and you lose it to that bottle. You're about to lose your daughter forever if you don't fix your life. Stop, okay? Just stop, stop talking. Look, Nance, I know how hard it was growing up with mom, okay? Especially when she started drinking. I was the older brother, I took the worst of it. But you can't let our troubled past dictate our happy future. Nance, we've suffered enough. Why would you wanna pass that on to our kids? Look, if you don't make things right with Carly now, you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life. Okay, please, trust me on this. All you gotta do is put down the bottle and then don't pick it back up. You're right, look at me. I have turned it exactly into mom. Oh, Nance. <laughs> Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it, Sid. I'll get clean, okay? Good. But now's the part where you make things right with your daughter, okay? She's at my house. I'm gonna bring her back next week. Get yourself cleaned up, clean up all this mess, and then you guys can talk, okay? <laughs> come here, come here. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uncle Sid's right here, I promise. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you, okay? Just give her a chance. Okay, I trust you. Come on. Coming. Hey, sweetie. Hi, Mom. Come in, I need to talk to you about something. I'm gonna leave you girls to it, okay? Mom, your apartment looks so nice. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Bye. Right. Thanks. <sighs> so, um, I wanted to tell you that I, I quit drinking. Mom, you always say that. What's gonna be different this time? I, I don't. I don't want to lose you. I used alcohol to substitute and to cope with a lot, a lot of pain that my mom put me through. And um, that has made me into a horrible, horrible mother. And I'm done and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to be here for you, for everything, because I can't, I can't lose you, okay? I'll go to the AA meetings, I'll go to the rehabs, I'll do whatever it takes. I promise you that, okay? You would do that for us? Of course I would do that for you. You're my little baby. I'm gonna be here for you while you get clean. I love you. I love you too. Come here. I'm so sorry. Change can be difficult, but sometimes it's necessary for us to grow. Remember that it's never too late to make a change. We hope you enjoyed this video and remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. Here at Generation Hope, we're trying to change the world one story at a time.